Hello everyone, P441 here. So today I want to talk about how the returnless fuel system works on the Ford Ranger. So this is a 2004 Ranger with a 2.3 liter dual over cam engine. So the Ranger went to a returnless fuel system around 1998 on pretty much all the engines that were available. It's really easy to tell if you have a returnless fuel system, especially if you have a four banger like this. So you see here is our fuel rail right here. And we have one fuel supply line going in down here. And if you look at the other end, this little silver shiny part right there at the end of my finger is the other end of the fuel rail. And you notice there is nothing there. One fuel supply line going in means it's a returnless fuel system. If you have a return fuel system, you will have a fuel pressure regulator and a return line going to the tank on the other end. Now, I'm sure some people are probably thinking to themselves, wait a minute, I have what looks like a fuel pressure regulator on mine, but I don't have a return line. That is actually a fuel pulse dampener. Some engines have those on them and they are solely to dampen the fuel pulses in the uh, fuel rail. Now, they will be connected to vacuum. However, that is just a fail safe. Um, basically, the idea is that if the diaphragm ruptures, it'll dump gas into the engine and just run rich versus dumping gas onto the ground and potentially causing a fire. So this is a returnless fuel system. Now, most returnless fuel systems have one line running from the tank all the way to the front with no fuel filter. Ford did it a little bit differently on these trucks and I kind of like it because you still have a fuel filter. So we'll crawl under here. So here is our fuel filter. So this is our supply line feeding our fuel rail. And then we have two lines at the back here. So this larger line, I'm sorry, this is the larger line. The larger line is your fuel supply into the filter. And then there's a smaller line, which is your return back to the tank. Now, some people say that there's a fuel pressure regulator inside this filter. Now, I wanted to know for sure, so I actually cut the old one open that came out of this truck. There is no fuel pressure regulator inside these filters. That being said, in case you were wondering, any fuel that goes into this filter gets filtered, whether it's going back forward to the engine or it's going back to the tank. So the way this works is you have your fuel supply which comes up into the filter, the fuel gets filtered. It pressurizes the system going all the way forward. Then it has this return that goes back into a fuel pressure regulator, which is located on the fuel pump in the tank. Now that fuel pressure regulator works pretty much the same as most fuel pressure regulators. It just lets more or less fuel bypass in order to maintain the appropriate pressure, which for these trucks is somewhere usually around 60 to 65 uh, PSI. Now you don't have to take my word for it. We have the fuel pump module removed here. So this is our return line coming back from the filter and it goes right down into a fuel pressure regulator. Now, unlike the regulators that are vacuum referenced on a return system, this regulator just maintains a constant pressure at all times, regardless of what's happening. And like I said, that's usually around 60 to 65 PSI for these trucks. So that's pretty much it. It's a fairly simple system. And once you know how it works, it's a lot easier to diagnose and repair them. I hope you, this helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below.